Yo, we hit that part of the month where we take a look at the upcoming games for the upcoming month and therefore I picked out 10 games that I think is worth buying for the month of November 2018. So make sure you keep it locked. Number 10. Transistor is a sci-fi theme action RPG that invites you to wield an extraordinary weapon of unknown origin as you fight through a stunning futuristic city. To me this game actually looks pretty cool and the type of game that you can find yourself spending countless hours playing. Number 9 In this game you take hold of the Joy-Cons to rock along with the music as they create your own complex performances and rack up millions of points using personal free roam drum lines based on over a dozen different beats. As someone who really loves rhythm based games, Gal Metal is certainly a game that's certainly up my personal alley and has kind of been a game that I've been keeping a close eye on since this announcement so I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game in November. Brawlhalla is a free to play 2D platform fighter. In this game you get to join the external battle arena where the greatest legends ever brought to prove who's the best that was ever is or will be. Now I actually love the look of this game. The game did get released on the PlayStation 4 and PC last year and I still never actually got the opportunity to play the game as of yet. Now that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One I will probably try and grab this game on either platform because it does seem like a really cool game and reminds me a lot of Super Smash Brothers but actually has its own unique spin on it. While maybe not the best game ever, I still think it's going to be extremely fun. Number 7 World of Final Fantasy Maxima is basically a powered up version of World of Final Fantasy which was originally released back in October 2016. In this game you get to embark on a magical journey with sibling Ren and Len as they explore the vast land of Grimoire to discover their past and save the future. Now I'll be honest I'm not really the biggest Final Fantasy fan on the planet but at the same time I do love the art style of this game and the fact that it pretty much allows newcomers to the series to get exposed to the world of Final Fantasy in in such a compelling way is worthy to be added on this list. Number six. For those who don't know, Darksiders 3 is basically a hack and slash action adventure where players assume the role of Fury in her quest to hunt down and dispose of the seven deadly sins. Now I personally had Darksiders 2 on the Nintendo Wii U back in the days and really enjoyed my time playing the game so with the next installment on the horizon I thought why not take a gamble in November and add this game to my collection. Certainly the time for all the nostalgia guys and girls out there as this remastered Spyro collection will contain Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripter's Rage and Spyro Year of the Dragon all in one great HD pack. Now I'll be honest, I personally was never really a Spyro the Dragon fanatic as I didn't own a PlayStation 1 back in the days and I always kind of looked to this game as a cheap version of Banjo-Kazooie but when I actually did play the game on my PlayStation 3 I have to admit that it was a really good platformer and now getting the chance to play the trilogy with HD graphics on the PS4 to me is pretty awesome. Number four. In Fallout 76 you are on the threat of the nuclear annihilation. You experience the largest most dynamic world ever created in the legendary Fallout universe. Now I still need to finish Fallout 4 as I just never got around to the end of playing this game but something about Fallout 76 is making me want to skip part 4 and grab this game and just literally start playing from there. To me it does look like a really cool game and I actually do like the online element of the game even though some people have mixed feelings surrounding it. I still think that this is definitely a Fallout game to keep your eyes on in the month of November 2018. Number 3 Enter Mankind's greatest conflict with Battlefield 5 as the series go back to its roots with never before seen portrayal of World War 2. 
To me, the Battlefield series has never disappointed me, and therefore it's kind of a no-brainer to grab this game for those who really enjoy a solid first-person shooter experience. Visually and conceptually, this game is going to be doing some bits upon release. I think this is definitely going to be a really top, top first-person shooter for 2018, and it will certainly be interesting to see how they tackle World War II. Number 2 Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go EV brings the experience of a classic Pokemon RPG to the Nintendo Switch with the gameplay that is easily approachable for newcomers to the series but it's also deep enough to keep veteran trainers on their toes. Now keeping it real I personally have never really religiously followed the Pokemon games and I did actually play Pokemon Go on the mobile for a bit but probably off the top of my mind the last real Pokemon game that I've really spent countless hours playing was probably Pokemon Stadium back on the N64. With that being said, something about Let's Go Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch has a crazy appeal surrounding it and I personally will be collecting my EV version come launch because I'm definitely going to try and give the Pokemon series a real shot on my Nintendo Switch and I really do think that this game does look epic. Number 1 Unravel the paths of the elusive Shadow Client as you track your targets across six new exotic locations, improvising the biggest kills in the franchise's history. Now, I've personally been a massive Hitman fan since Hitman 2 Silent Assassin on the original Xbox and the original PlayStation 2, and I definitely think that that game really set the foundation and really gave me the love behind the series. I don't think since then I've played a bad Hitman game, so for me this is without doubt the game that I'm most really looking forward to playing in the month of November 2018, hence the reason why it's top of my list. Anyway peeps, what did you make of the 10 games that I think are must buy games for November 2018? Is there any games that I've missed off the list and what game would you have sitting in the number one position? As always if you did enjoy this urban gameplay video be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel before and until next urban gameplay video we definitely say peace out peeps